working with 20 dancers and I'm writing the score together with Nell Catchpole, a collaborator which I worked with uh, for many years now, a uh, viola player. And uh, the score is for 50 orchestra members. So, yeah, it's very exciting. It's gonna poof, wake us up. I started with a very basic uh, image and idea that there are a lot of people on stage uh, and a feeling that the piece is uh, always evolving, going between what seems to be control and out of control and a sort of uh, a waviness and oceanic feel to it, you know, a fluidity to both the movement and the composition on stage. But that's, that was the starting point. It starts very mathematically the work actually. It starts very, very organized and I'm still playing with uh, ways to try to break that um, mathematical order with animalistic power that, that works on, these, uh, on this group of people. Super, super thick, yeah? It has, to, it has to stir your body, yeah? I came to England 12 years ago. Um, so to be invited to make work in um, what I think is a sort of like a cultural center, you know, the Royal Opera House here in London and in England, sort of like such an important organization. And yeah, it just, it just put a seed of a thought in my mind about um, having an immigrant in the building creating work in such a, you know, kind of sensitive time. So that's a thought and a feeling that uh, made its way into the piece as well. But um, I'm not going to give away anymore. So you can take your time. Working with the dancers here is very, very fun. You know, the first week was sort of interesting. We were, we were all very quite serious and it took us time to get used to each other. Still, guys, mm -hmm. arm is first. My movement style is very, very different. Uh, in ballet, everything is up and in my work, everything is quite down and fluid and round. And I'm kind of feeling like I'm trying to invite them into my world, but also trying to step a little bit towards them and see, because what, what they can do with their bodies is amazing and see, you know, how it can connect with, with my style and maybe we can create a bit of a hybrid there. It's always war. It's like, it's war, it's confrontational. It's not, uh, you're not allowing in and beauty and it's the opposite, it's like war. You have to remember that all the time. It's like, it's like we are coming at you, that kind of feeling, yeah? I like understanding the context, you know, where, where the work is, what is this house that we're sitting in, what are the works before and after, what, what is the cultural weight that this house is carrying, the question of uh, who it belongs to, you know, all these questions are really interesting for me as an artist because I'm, I'm having a conversation with the audience. So I'm very aware that, you know, the piece is uh, sandwiched <laughs> in a way between Balanchine and Macmillan in two classical pieces. Uh, you know, how the audience will respond. It's a very different piece and I hope that they embrace something uh, new, something exciting and something that shifts a little bit the energy in the house.